Everyone, how's it going? My name's Runestrike, and today I'm going to teach you how to sidechain with Volume Shaper in FL Studio. So, without further ado, let's go. First, you're going to select the bus you want to sidechain and add a Volume Shaper to it, of course. Now that we have the plugin loaded, we're going to make sure that all the settings are correct. LFO mode needs to be set to beat. Length, this depends on your song. I normally like to set mine at 1 8th. And MIDI trigger needs to be on at one shot. So, now that we have that done, we can actually make our shape. Personally, I like to do a shape like this, which you can just copy or make your own, you know? It's, it's a free world, you know? Next, we're gonna come up here to the gear, click on input port, and drag it up to five. It doesn't have to be five, I prefer five, but you can do whatever you want. Next, here comes the most important part. We're gonna go like this, come to our plugins, and we're going to add a patcher. Now that we have patcher open, we're gonna come here again, and add something called a MIDI out. Then we're going to take this output, place it above the arrow, and this menu will, will appear. Click on MIDI port 5, and now Patcher is routed to the volume shaper. Now, for organization's sake, we can actually hover our mouse over the Patcher icon and use our scroll wheel to move it up while holding Shift. We're going to put that over the kick, just, just for convenience sake. Next, we're gonna come to our drum pattern. As you can see, I have two drum patterns. Now, if you have multiple drum patterns, we're going to have to actually put in the side chain MIDI. Now, what I like to do is just select on this, click copy and paste. Now, since this is a rhythm track, the kick and snare happen on the same beat, which means I only have to copy one. But since I have two drum patterns, I'm going to have to do the same process for each one. Copy and paste. Now, we should technically be hearing a side chain, so let's go back to our side chain and see if we are. Looks like our side chain is actually working. Now, to make sure this can, like a little trick I like to do to make sure it's actually working is I like to put some weird off beat like that, just something like that. Yeah, and that really tells you if it's actually working. One last little tip you can actually do, since we got the side chain done, we can actually go like this, save presets, now click and hold this and drag it and now you can put it on anything you want to sidechain, and you don't have to do your routing over again. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you want more super fast tutorial thingies, and see you all next time. Dodgy.